Hello, this is Patrick for Screen Studio. I wanted to show you today how to rip your own DVDs at home. Of course, uh, we're talking about DVDs that you bought and not that you've acquired in by some other means. So at home, we have a bunch of uh, DVDs and they're getting older. And uh, from time to time, uh, some of those discs um, will uh, degrade with time and won't work. So what I'm trying currently is to make copies of them. But there's a way to do this in Ubuntu quite easily and it works perfectly. Uh, first, go into the Ubuntu Software Center and look for Handbrake. Install this, it's quite easy, nothing fancy in there. Uh, once that is done, as you may know, DVDs are protected. So you need to execute a script from the console to install the, uh, the decoder of the security that is protecting the DVDs. And it's called uh, libdvdread4. Install that if it's not already installed. And you'll have to navigate into the console to USR share doc libdvd read 4 and then the script you need to execute is install dash css dot sh like that slash i won't execute it because it's already installed but you'll figure it out so just press enter it will download the uh, required library and then you'll be able to read product protected dvds uh with vid the video player and uh, also to make copies of them. So remember, this is not how to uh, do illegal, illegal, illegal stuff. Illegal, 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 illegal. That's hard. Okay, uh, we're just trying to show. I'm just trying to show you a way to make legal copy of your DVDs. Illegal, illegal, illegal. There we go. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, so you've run this script and uh, what you needed uh, installed is uh, currently installed. So you can close this and then launch Handbrake. See if you go in the Unity menu here and look for Handbrake, you'll see the icon. So I've already loaded the, uh, the software. So what you'll end up with is this. So we have many options in there, but uh, if you just select the default ones, uh, it will be really easy. In my case, I always uh, make copies in Apple TV2 format as uh, I, want, I want my videos to uh, be playable on my iDevices and also on my Android devices. And this one seems to work perfectly. Uh, so you insert the disc. I'm going to show it to you. So you insert your DVD into uh, your computer in your DVD uh, player. And uh, you'll see that it's currently available here. And uh, I've inserted uh, Harry Potter. So once the DVD is uh, uh, available, you go into sources, source, not sources, and then you have to go to the bottom here and select your DVD drive. In my case, slash dev slash SR0. And then I just click OK. And then a handbrake will scan the, 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 the DVD to find uh, the chapters and uh, the audio and everything needs that 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 needs to be uh, used to make a copy. So it will take a few uh, a few minutes, a few seconds. It's not that long. So you have the target here of uh, the kind of video you want to output. In my case, I always select Apple TV two, but you have a lot of profiles in there. And as you can see, I have a preview. It does say that the format is 720 by 480. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9 and so on. So as you can see, 
Handbrake has uh, figured out the name by default and the default uh, uh, chapter to use from the DVD. If you click, you can see there's more, but the, the longest one is the movie you want to extract. And then um, you go on video, don't touch anything. The profile does work as it is. In audio, though, uh, as we speak French at home, I want to have the French track also. And then uh, once that done, select here, not pass through, but use AAC AV codec as the one for English. You want to do that uh, if you want your, uh, your video file to be compatible with your iDevices. Uh, it all depends on what you're doing actually to what, what is your target vi video file. In my case, I want MP4 that is playable on the Apple TV and also on my iDevices and my Android devices. So everything in AAC, uh, you can change the bitrate if you want to, but if you leave it by default, it should work. So I'm going to put one stick, uh, 192 and uh, this one has uh, 192, so it should be okay. You, some, you have some advanced uh, features here, but we won't play with that. And then you can also have uh, the subtitles, but I won't add them as we really don't need them. Uh, if you go in advanced, there's a lot of stuff in there. And what you want to make sure is that you've enabled the chapter markers. That's pretty handy when you're watching the movie. You can skip to the next chapter as MP4 does support that. And you have tags also, so you can input uh, the information if you want to. So once everything is set up, you just click. I won't click it because um, it does require a lot of time, but... Uh, you just click start and then handbrake will take care of everything and your um, output uh, your your video output will be in my case set in my video folder but you can change it here to somewhere else but basically in video it should work uh, you have some options for web optimize and then uh, you have a lot of settings if you want to play around uh, you can do whatever you want the nice thing with uh, Handbrake, it's fast. Uh, you need a fast computer, of course, to, to rip from a DVD. But um, the, uh, the, basically, the, uh, the, the, the software is using, I think, uh, FFmpeg in the background to, uh, to do the job. And it does work really nicely. Uh, it does also rip uh, or transcode uh, any kind of source uh, video uh, source video file. So I've picked a DVD, but if you go in source and select something else, uh, do I have something locally? Um, yeah, I have that. I don't know what is that video, but let's select that one. Let's say I want to take that video and then, oh, that's Big Buck Bunny and convert it to something else, then I could say, okay, take that video and uh, change it for a Windows Phone 8 compatible format. And you can change the, uh, the frame rate, uh, you can change some presets. So if you know what you're doing, you can play around. But basically, if you don't know what you're doing, just select Apple TV 2, Apple TV 2 and start. And uh, if you have a lot of videos, you can select multiple sources, so you can you you can add m uh, more than one files, and then just rip them to have uh, your videos ready a few hours later. Uh, in this on this laptop, uh, making a copy of a DVD takes around four hours. It's not a really fast computer, so uh, it does work, but it's slow. Uh, if I do that. Handbrake is available on uh, Ubuntu, but it is all, it's also available for Windows and Mac. And uh, on my old MacBook, uh, if uh, I rip a DVD, that does take like around an hour and a half.
So it all depends on your hardware. But it's easy to use. Um, no fancy settings. If you don't know what you're doing, just select the defaults. Just uh, pay some, uh, some attention to the audio, uh, audio tracks if you want to have more than uh, one track in there. If you want to have French, like in my case, uh, I always get the French track and the English audio track. So uh, everyone is happy at home. And then I just put that file. Once it's done, I go in my network drive. Where is it? I go in Browse Network, uh, I go into my network drive. Oh darn, it doesn't recognize me. Let's go with this one, it should. Ah, there we go. And then I go into my public folder and I go in my shared videos and put stuff in there. So basically that's how you can make a copy of a DVD with Handbrake using Ubuntu, or you can do it also in Windows and Max. And Max, Max, and this it's kind of hard to say. So hope you enjoyed that little preview of Handbrake, and as usual, see you another time. Bye.